Hi. Um, today we're, we're working with matrices and uh, we're continuing our work with matrices anyway. We're going to talk about a third order determinant. Previously we talked about a second order determinant which went, uh, which was a number associated with a two by two matrix. A third order determinant is a number that's associated with a three by three. And so it, there's actually two ways to do this and uh, I'm hopefully going to be able to teach you both ways here in, in a little bit of time. So um, let's check it out here. Now, three by three matrix, we have uh, uh, three rows and three columns. And I've listed A, B, C uh, through I, basically. And if I ask you to find the what looks like the absolute value of A, I'm actually asking you to find the determinant of A. Now, this right here is, is a rule that's called expansion by minors. And so it's just a way to, um, to, to do that. And what happens is, if you're using this value of A, you're not going to use any of the values that happen to be in this row or in this column. And so you're just going to take A times the determinant of EFHI. Okay? So, you, so the rule is take A times that minus B, which is B, and we won't use any of the values in the column of B or in the row of B, which will leave us D, F, G, I. So we'll take B times, minus B times that determinant, plus C, which C is in this last column. We wouldn't use anything in its column, so we'd use D, E, and G, H, uh, G, H um, over there. So I put I there, but now it's G, H. And so this is the pattern that we use uh, to find the determinant. And over here I have a 3 by 3 matrix and, and I want you to kind of follow along with us with this one. Uh, we're going to use expansion by minors with this one and see what happens. Well here, if you compare that to this, my A value is 2. And so I'm going to put 2 times. Um, I would have, if I don't use anything there, when the same column is 2, I would have 0, 9, 5, 7. So, I uh, take 2 times 0, 9, 5, 7. Minus my B value is this negative 4. And if I look at the same things that are in that, I would use 3, negative 1, 9, and 7. So I have 3, negative 1, 9, and 7 goes here. And then the last thing I have is my C value is this 1, so I won't use neither of those. I'm just going to use 3, 0, negative 1, and 5. So um, 1 times 3, 0, negative 1, 5. Now, <clears throat> from before, to solve uh, this determinant, I multiply on a diagonal. So I would take 0 times 7, which is 0, minus 5 times 9. That's, that would become... 0 minus 45, which is negative 45. And if I take that 2 times that negative 45, I get negative 90. Okay. Now here I have a minus a negative 4. So I'm going to go ahead and put use the slash slash rule on that, add the opposite. So I'm going to take positive 4 now times this determinant. Now, to find this determinant, I multiply the diagonal, and that would give me 3 times 7 is 21, minus negative 1 times 9 is negative 9, and if I use the add the opposite rule here, this would give me positive 30, and 30 times 4 would be 120, so I'm going to add 120 to that. Um, over here, I'm going to take 1 times these things, um, this would be 3 times 5 is 15, minus Negative 1 times 0 is 0, so this would just be 15. So to that, I would add 15. So now I have uh, an arithmetic problem to finish up here. Negative 90 plus a positive 120 would be positive 30. And 30 plus 15 would give me a value of 45. So the third order determinant of this guy would be equal to 45. Um, now... <clears throat> There is one other way to solve a third order determinant, and that's by using what's known as the diagonal method. And since I have this one up here, I'm going to just show you how to do the diagonal method with this example. Hopefully we'll get 45 
again. Now, the diagonal method is, is much easier to remember than, than this rule that we put up there. Um, and uh, it's, it's a little bit more like finding, um, or what we did when we found a two by two, because we multiply on the diagonals. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you how, how that's done right here. Um, I'm gonna bring this one down here again. I'm gonna put two, three, negative one, negative four, zero, five, and one, nine, and seven. And with the diagonal method, what you do is you recopy the first two columns over again on the, on the right side of this determinant, or this matrix. So I'm gonna put two, three, negative one over there, and also the second column over there, okay? So the first thing is recopy those first two columns. Now, in the diagonal method, you multiply on the diagonal. But um, after you multiply in the diagonal, you get the sum of, of the products that we had here. So if I take two times zero times seven, I'm gonna get zero. So I'm gonna take zero and I'm going to add it to the product that I get there. I'm gonna take negative four times nine, which is negative 36, times negative one, which is positive 36, and I'm gonna add 36 to, to uh, my zero. And lastly, I'm gonna multiply one, three, and five, and that's gonna give me 15. And what I have is I have a total, I have a total going down this way. I'm gonna kinda of get rid of that a little bit. And this total going this direction after multiplying and adding gives me a total of 51. So going that direction, I had a total of 51. Now, we, like we did here, we also multiplied that direction. So we're going to do the same thing this direction, and I'm going to try to circle this. Going that direction, I would multiply those three numbers, and that would give me zero. And multiplying 5 times 9 times 2, well, 5 times 9 is 45, times 2 is 90, so I have 90. And then taking 7 times 3 times negative 4, that would give me 21 times negative 4 is negative 84. Uh, I'm going to add those numbers together. And when I add 0 to 90 to negative 84, I get a positive 6 as my result. Now, I have my total going this way and my total going that way. And so what I want to do is I'm going to subtract those. I'm going to take my total going this direction minus the total going that direction. And so if you look here, I have 51 and 6. And if I subtract 51 minus 6, I get 45, just like I had when I did expansion by minors. So the, the third order determinant, determinant of this one is going to be 45. Um, depending on what you're asked to do, whether it's the uh, diagonal method or um, the expansion by minors, it's pretty simple. You just have to be real careful with your, um, with your signs and your arithmetic. But uh, I hope that helped you, and I hope you're able to do um, questions like this. See ya.